What are we learning about today? I'm Carol Caterpillar. Carol Caterpillar. Main Street. Burger. What could we be learning about? Nouns! Welcome to Teacher Teach English! Welcome to Teacher T English. What, what English will we learn today? It's time to say. Now it's time to practice saying all different kinds of nouns. Repeat the words after me. What is a noun? Person. Baby. The baby's name is Abigail. Brother. The brother's name is Max. Grandma. The grandma's name is Susan. Types of people and names are nouns. What else is a noun? A place. Shop. Scotland, the names of countries and places. What else is a noun? Things. Tent. Shark. Ship. All those things are nouns. Great! Today you've learned that a noun is a person, name, place and thing. Can you think of any other nouns? Let's read. Now let's practice reading some sentences that have nouns. <laughs> Try to read them after me. Pause the video if you need more time. People and names. Susan is going to meet her sister. Can you find any nouns? Susan, sister. Places. Last year, I went to London and Paris. Can you find any nouns? London, Paris. The dog and the cat are friends. Can you find any nouns? Dog, cat, friends. Well, today you've read all about nouns that are people, names, places and things. Well done! Time to sing! Hey, let's sing about the nouns. A noun is a person, name, place, or thing. A noun is a person, name, place, or thing. A noun is a person, name, place, or thing. Like person, street, name, shop, and ship. Wow, great singing! It's time to listen. Now we're going to listen to a story that will help us find lots of nouns. If you're able, write a list of all the nouns you hear as you listen to the story. If that's a little tricky for you, then I want you to listen out for some special nouns. Listen for the word pig, rabbit, and all the names of the different characters. Peppa goes swimming. Peppa Pig It's 
It's a lovely sunny day, and Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Peppa, George, let Daddy put on your armbands, snorts Mummy Pig. Today is George's first time at the pool, and he's a bit scared of getting in. Why don't you just put one foot in the water, suggests Daddy Pig. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time, said Mummy Pig. Hmm. Splash! Mummy Pig convinces George to jump into the water and he loves it. Grunt! Hee hee! Snorts, shouts, <laughs> George happily. Grunt! Hee hee! Snort! <sighs> shouts George happily. Ho ho, well done George, snorts Daddy Pig. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her brother, Richard and their mummy. Hello everyone, cries Rebecca. Squeak, squeak, says Richard. Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs, says Mummy Rabbit. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? asks Mummy Pig. Hee hee, float. <sniffs> Giggles George. Ho ho, very good, laughs Daddy Pig, but please try not to splash. Grunt. Big children don't splash, adds Peppa. Big children are very good at swimming, snorts Peppa. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us, won't they, Rebecca? Yes, says Rebecca, as she watches the boys kicking. Peppa and Rebecca race each other up and down the pool with their armbands on. They're having lots of fun swimming and splashing in the water. Oops! Richard has dropped his toy watering can into the pool. Mummy, wah, cries Richard. Sorry, Richard, I can't reach. It's too far down, says Mummy Rabbit. Luckily, Daddy Pig is an excellent swimmer. He takes off his glasses and dives down to get it. Ho, ho. There you go, snorts Daddy Pig. Squeak, squeak, says Richard. Well done, Daddy, smiles Mummy Pig. Oh dear, now Richard is soaking Daddy Pig with the watering can. What a naughty rabbit. Hee hee hee. George thinks it's hilarious. Everyone has had a wonderful day at the pool. The end. Did you like that story? Great listening today. Wow, well done with your English today. You have learned to say your English words, read your English words, sing them and listen. Well done. If you would like to write them too, you can go back to where the sentences are or where the new vocabulary is and practice writing. Well done watching this video. Now make sure you go and subscribe now to my channel. Just press the subscribe button. Then you won't miss out on our future videos. If you're interested in learning to read, you can also subscribe to my Mama T Phonics channel, which is also on YouTube. At home, you can also take part in lots of learning for reading, spelling, writing and speaking. Have a look on my Teachers Pay Teachers and Etsy shop. Just search Mama T Phonics.